there was no talk of auditioning or choosing people. You just hook up with people who are like-minded and get on with it. To my mind, there is continuous repetition and proportionately they are a bit boring. It certainly felt well. I wasn't quite ready to retire properly. I thought I've had 20 years off, I could go and do a bit of banging about. house opening show featured Pink Floyd, which was in 1966. It's a big part of Floyd history. There was a sort of an element of us wanting to hark back a little bit with the geographical spirits of a venue. And it has this wonderful Victorian iron architecture. It somehow adds to the set. Pink Floyd, once called the Underground's House Orchestra. On Friday nights, they and other groups play at UFO. One of the aims here is to make music a felt experience. The attempt has been called psychedelic. You can't really imagine it actually being a real thing having happened. It's just a piece of history. Especially with this material, which, which people literally only know from records. That's what I love, is making this stuff, you know, living and breathing. The influence of Floyd was really profound and obvious. I think Sid and Roger and Nick and what they did in that early period was very sort of music changing. It shifted the landscape, it created a, a new landscape.